The mad dog of Europe has at last plunged civilization into a new world war. Nazi troops have invaded Poland by land and by air in undeclared war. Russia paved the way for the Nazi coup by cutting loose from her Western allies and signing a non-aggression pact with Germany. Germany rushes more troops to man her great West Wall Siegfried Line. Vast underground fortifications running from Switzerland to the border of Holland. Again, the German war machine gets underway. The free city of Danzig and the Polish corridor first felt the force of Germany's pincer-like drive against the Poles. Danzig, willingly for the most part, was quickly engulfed by the Reich. A part of Poland's efficient little navy escaped to join the British fleet, but other vessels, trapped in the Baltic, fought heroically to the last. Meanwhile, the Polish army contested the German advance on every front, in the corridor, near East Prussia, and in Silesia. Although overwhelmed by numbers and by all the driving power of the modern German army, the highly trained Polish fighting forces, and in particular her splendid cavalry, the finest in the world, exacted bitter payment for every foot they gave. History records no brighter chapter than this heroic defense of their homeland, a masterfully conducted withdrawal action in the face of insurmountable odds. Think of their desperation and of their joy when word came that France and England had joined them. Italy, so far, has not raised a finger to help her Axis ally and pledges neutrality. But her millions are mobilized and her French frontier bristles with bayonets. <laughs> 